How you doing everybody? Welcome to Costa Mesa, California, Orange County, LA area. I have to apologize, I forgot to bring my video camera to Saratoga. I forgot to make, because since I didn't have the camera, I couldn't make a video blog. I get the douchebag award for that day. But we're back here, it's gonna be the biggest show of the tour so far, here at the Pacific Amphitheater. This place is great, check it out. What's really cool for me, at this particular venue is that I've seen a bunch of shows here when I was growing up as a kid I used to come to this venue and see a bunch of concerts so it's always very exciting to play it's gonna be big it's absolutely sold out and uh, so we're excited there's gonna be a lot of people here and uh, so that's really cool all right and let me get back into the camera here uh, I saw a couple of people on the uh, on YouTube asking questions of Showing some of the other guys' gear and what they're playing and what they're using. So I'll go around today and um, show you a little bit more of what the other guys are using and hopefully get some good footage of Kurt and Roland and what they're doing. And if they don't mind, I'll even get them on camera. You know, it's always hard getting those guys to get in front of the camera, but I will try for you. It's the kind of guy I am. See what I'm saying? Okay, other than that, um, that's it for now. We'll talk soon. All right, so we got Roland's guitars. What is this, Mr. Bill? That's a Gibson. No, I know, but what model? It's a red one. It's a red Gibson. If you ask Kurt, he'll tell you it's a red one. All right. <laughs> it's a 137. 137. ES-137C, custom, at the very tone. Nice. Blue one that matches your drums? Yes. Just a regular 137. Okay, cool. So that's what Roll's playing. Most of the gig, he plays this guitar. And then for a few songs, he's playing this fabulous Variax and uh, using a Veta 2, just back here. Since, since everybody is on in-ears these days, we don't really need to have the amplifier out front and cranking like the old days. So they cover them and keep them quieter. It's good for the mix, you know what I'm saying? And over here is this bass rocks. This bass is totally cool. Kurt plays his Hofner most of the set with his Galleon Kruger uh, stack here, but we're loving the Hofner bass. It's gorgeous. Sounds really good. Very excited about this bass. Always have been. Kurt has a giant collection of basses too. It's really cool the basses he plays. Um, Charlton is using a Strat for a lot of the show um, with his Floyd Rose there, you know, pulling out, doing his whammy tricks. Same Veta 2 amplifier he's got going on. Hey, Grace. And uh, that's it, really, for the guitars and basses. Now I can be on your video. Hey, Gruno. What's up? How you doing? Hey, you know. I didn't mask for the video. Okay. Make sure you show my rig. I'm going to go show your rig here in a second. You want to describe your rig or just you want me to do it? I want you to do it because okay. it's, it's an inspiration. In inspiration. inspiration. All right, cool. Talk to you in a second. Okay. All right, over here at... Uh, Dougie Fresh's keyboard rig. Now a lot of these things I know he's, you know, here's an M Audio keyboard, so he's, he's, not a lot of these things have sounds. This big Yamaha is master one, it's pretty much just for his piano sound. He's got his organ over here uh, using a real whirly, which is always great. Um, here's his rack, he's got a Muse and a few other synth modules and stuff, but what he's using mostly, which is not here right now, is his Mac, which goes right there. It's usually a Mac right on this spot. Run this program called Soundstage with a bunch of, it's like an Emag, uh, it's a Logic program. It's got a lot of synth sounds and things like this that he uses. And it is pretty cool. You can map out sounds for different songs. You just hit a button and it changes. So this is Doug's little area. I'm gonna make my way over to Gruno's area here in a sec. Okay, Chaz, you're not on the video. Okay. I'm not filming you right now, okay. Can't be bothered, huh? Matt. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, Matt. That's right. Who's your friend behind you? It's Jamie. Hey, how's it going? Who's this guy? Um, Why is this on your face? Uh, you know, it's that skin condition that we're talking about. That's right, yeah. You're, vitiligo. You're, I need to see a doctor and get rid of it. Speaking of vitiligo, <laughs> the reason behind Billy Jean. What? What is the reason behind it? Miguel. <laughs> oh! Nice. Don Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Uh, I'm not sure if the fans will really appreciate this, but this is Gruno's rig. He lights up. He lights up his own door, 
He's got he got lights inside so you can't see it, right? You can yeah, see okay. it. Okay. We've got working stuff in there. Right? Look at him. Look at look at all the stuff you got. And the most important part though are the sticks. Oh. Oh, they're $9.99 if you email me. Shit. Okay, don't tell anybody. And then we have uh, tons of guitar picks. Right. All right, man, I'll talk okay. to you Sweet, sweet. Yeah, I see, I see. And that's it. Sweet. Gruno's rig. Da 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 da. He's in LA right now. All right. So that's kind of, that's almost it. You know, lights and sound are done up there. Chris has his monitor world over there with Bill and his guitars. And uh, that's the whole production, ladies and gentlemen. It's not too extensive on this little run. We're not bringing lights or anything. Hold on. Yeah, you know, there's no lights or uh, big backdrops or any that kind of stuff on this tour because it's such a short run. So, but the gear is great, and the people are great, and we're going to have a rockin' show tonight, so I will see you all shortly. Toodaloo. I was commenting on how cool I think that bass is to the, to the peoples. How great it sounds. It was a bargain for three hundred and sixty four dollars. That is a it's really a bargain. That was I was about actually it was only about four fifty. Really? Yeah. It wasn't that much. Awesome. It's the only one you can use that sounds like a violin bass but doesn't work like Right. Yeah, the violins are smaller, huh? Smaller bodies. And it weighs nothing. Right. So I don't end up at the end of a tour like this. And you were having some shoulder problems after the last big massage you had, right? Yeah. Is that, has that gone away? Well, it's a bit loose today. Okay, that's good. Okay. It's better. Good. The massage didn't help. <laughs> How you feeling, Mr. Wainwright? I'm feeling good. You having a good time on this tour? So far, so good. Yeah? It's uh, it's good to have you here. Thanks, man. It's been yeah. a lot of fun. Good. Awesome. You know, now I've got the words down. It's almost over. And... Right. I know. Eight whole gigs. Yeah. It's just it's not long enough, is Once it? Once I finally know it, you know, now it's all over, so it's a bummer. You getting some good uh, feedback on your stuff, on your sets, and people yeah. liking your music? Yeah, I think so. People are reacting well, and they're coming. I, I stand at the merch table and meet people, so it's always a, uh, it's always good positive stuff. Cool. It's good. And it's a learning experience too. The whole thing, like yeah. every gig is different, so you learn, learn something new at every single gig. Awesome. Cool. Very good. I thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Vibrating your butt? Nice. Is your co but I turned it up a little bit. It's supposed to make you want to shit. Huh? <laughs> Woo! All right, so what he's talking about, ladies. <laughs> what he's talking about is there's this thing right here. Oh, wait, it's behind, it's that. The butt, the butt kicker. That's called a butt kicker. And I send my kick drum. And, and, and this is how uh, Nick stays happy on the road. That's right. <laughs> when I'm away from my wife for too long. I just put more stuff into the butt kicker. Oh yeah. So he puts, he puts the bass guitar, my kick drum, some of the low floor toms, and whatever else that has low end in my, basically in my ass. And it feeds up through my face, through my uh, seat, and I can, since we don't have monitors, we have everything in ears, right? Um, I send the low end stuff through there, and wow. it's just good fun. 